everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we're continuing our Need for Speed uh, Payback Let's Play series. This is episode 2. If you haven't seen the previous episode then I will link it down in the description. I've got a playlist that I've made. Um, we've got to do this race first. This is the Rust Way race, something like that. I can't remember the exact name. Um, I've learned how to drive a little bit better since the last episode. I'm hoping that's coming across on camera. And I've adjusted a few things in the game as well. Um, one of the main things is I've added subtitles. So if I'm talking over the audio, you can still read the subtitles and basically hear what the characters are saying. I've also muted the police scanner radio on the controller because as cool as that was it did take over the audio a little bit in the first episode so I've, I've switched that up um, just because it was a little bit annoying to get this little baby moving. I do love this Nissan Fairlady, it is a fantastic car as I mentioned in the last video. Um, it was actually the very first car that I drove in the original Crew game and also in the Crew 2. Um, it was one of the very first cars that I purchased. So there we go. Event complete, 2 minutes 11 seconds 52. Um, okay, so now we have to drive to this destination. And I've learned uh, how the um, like how the waypoints and stuff work so yeah hopefully that should be a little bit better and obviously we've got the, uh, the uh, subtitles as you can see there now so as I'm talking now you can still read them in your own time and um, yeah okay what do we have to do here um, do I just get this car? Have I, have I just been given this car? I think we've just been given this car. Okay. Um, so we got a race. Uh, where is this race? Let me just open up the map and set a waypoint so we know where we're going. Um, I do really want to get in and explore the map. Um, so I'm trying to show as much sort of driving around the city area as possible on camera um, basically to show you all if you haven't seen this game before um, like what the map entails but it does seem like quite a big map um, I'd say it's probably about the same size as the GTA map maybe a little bit smaller um, but it does look very cool there's some nice countryside to go and explore I like the city it looks really fun as well and um, I want to get into the car customization and stuff, but that is all to come, you know, all in good time. We have to sort of get into the game a little bit before we can do all that. I need to get used to the brakes, that is one thing. The brakes on this are slightly better, but I keep overshooting all these races. What are we going to be doing here? Oh, there's the, she's the, the bad lady, I can't remember what she's called. Uh, is it Navarro I think she's called? Lena Navarro I think. I think that's her name. Um, I apologise if I get the names wrong or if I if I pronounce the names wrong or something like that. Um, I'm not the best, I'm not the most culturally diverse person in the world so um, if you have a slightly obscure name then yeah I probably get it wrong. Ooh, I do like this BMW, this is cool. Um, I like how uh, customised it is. We've got a lot of knocks going on in this thing. Oh, jeez. I can't believe we're being beaten by, what is that, Buick Regal? I'm wearing like an M5, I think this is, with like knocks. Um, that wing on the back, that is a massive wing, that is a mighty, mighty wing. Black Panther would like that, he's a big fan of big wangs on the back of his car. I think he would like that. 
Oh, what's going to happen now? We got a bit of muscle. We got a bit of a. We got a bit of a fight going on. We run this city, streets included. Every race, every midnight run, every off-road rally. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna let this play out because I'm intrigued. Not tonight, it didn't. Miss Navarro, we can't do this here. Miss Navarro. Yeah, uh, if you missed the last episode and you've never seen this game before, then spoilers, she is the baddie. Um, she double-crossed us sure in the first episode. Um, so, she's kind of the enemy in this game. She's the antagonist. And this guy, Tyler Morgan, he's like the main protagonist. Why do the antagonists get dodge challenges? That's not for our dodge challenger. Come on, Jesus. Yeah, let's get some knots going. Let's get away from these boys. Oh, they have knots as well. Oh, okay, well, that's not very helpful. The knots in this game, it does seem a little bit weak. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm not sure if that's just because uh, we're very early game at the moment. So, you know, possibly... We can improve the NOS and make it more powerful and make it last longer, but it doesn't seem very strong at the moment, anyway. Um, we've taken down one of them. Can I can I claim his Dodge Challenger, please? I, I'd like to do that. Uh, send him into the bin. Oh, we've got oh another one's appeared. Oh shit. You know, every one of these driving games handles differently, the cars handle differently. I'd say the handling on this game is borderline, uh, sort of like, arcadic, um, if that's the right word to use. Um, it's very, like, an arcade feel to it. Um, I'm used to more, sort of, simulation games. Um, We've got a chat with Marcus Weir. He's basically the, um, I don't know what to call him. He's kind of our benefactor, I guess you could call him, uh, for getting revenge on Navarro. Because she stole his car, I believe, so, yeah. I'll just, I'll let the, I'll let the scene play out. I'll stop talking. Biggest street race in the country. Yeah, it is, and the house is going to rig it. High rollers putting millions on their man, and he takes a cut from it all. Tonight was just a test run, and your little stunt gave me an idea. Oh, look, I've seen you drive. You're the best racer this city has. All we have to do is get you in. Win the Outlaws Rush, and the house... Oh, we have to win the outlaws rush. Okay. Bring down the house. Yeah. Not my fight. Save your casino yourself. These are your streets, right? Then this is your fight. What do you think they'll come for next? I have to say the um the motion capture in this is absolutely fantastic. Um, it is really impressive for a for an older game as well. Because I mean, oops, this game came out in 2017, I believe. Um, so the motion capture is absolutely amazing. Um, obviously, I'm here at university right now, and for those of you wondering, I'm studying visual effects, which is kind of like special effects, but instead of Special effects is more um, like real explosions and props and that kind of thing, whereas visual effects is basically a virtual version of special effects, so it's adding in effects later on, um, like computer trickery and CGI and stuff. But I do know a lot about like motion capture and stuff. Obviously, I'm in sort of the YouTube line. So I know a lot about this kind of stuff as well. That's kind of what I'm interested in. Um, so yeah, the motion capture I have to say for GTA was incredible and that was back in 2013. Now we're in 2017. Oh shit, there's an explosion. 
I knew something was going to happen. The second I saw the lights turn on, I was like, yeah, something is going to happen. This Navarro woman is not very nice. Oh, it was a nice, slow little drive-by right there. I don't think he'd be getting up from that, I'm going to be honest. Oh, they've stolen his car as well. Oh, damn. Oh. So his Skyline's gone, and now his BMW's gone. Oh, it looks like we're going to be back to the Fair Lady. Yeah, I want to go back to the Fair Lady. I like that car. We're... Let's do this. Good. Good, good, good. We're gonna need a crew. Oh, this is where the other characters come back in. Nice Buick Regal right there. That's Mac. He, um, I think, what was he called? Sean McAllister. He's really cool. I, he has some really cool cars. He seems like the muscle guy in the crew. He has a Bel Air, and now he's got a Buick Regal. He seems like my kind of guy. Us puppy. Big fan of your channel. It's hash Who's this guy? Yeah. Hash Tiger. Tiger selfie. No, here we go. Roar. Roar. Come on, big roar. Um. <laughs> Get in the car. Oh, I like that. Is that a GMC truck in the back? That looks pretty cool, to be honest. Um, I do like how it's similar to GTA where you play with different characters so it's not just one main protagonist that are there are multiple I don't like that car that that is ugly I don't like different colored wheels um, black wheels is fine or you know normal um, Alloy wheels are fine, but different coloured wheels just look wrong. Especially when they're like, they don't even match either. So if they were all red, that would be better, or all blue. But when they're different as well, that's even worse. And the exhausts stick out too far. I don't like the livery. It's also a Japanese car. I'm not a huge JDM fan, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm more of a muscle guy. And I like off-road cars as well. Um, so yeah, I don't... I'm not really digging this car. I'm probably getting a lot of dislikes for saying stuff like that. Because I'm sure there'll be some of you JDM guys watching. And you'll be like, what the hell is he talking about? That car's awesome. Yeah... It's not bad. I've seen nicer JDM cars. I like the the, the fair lady at the start of the video and that we were driving in the last episode. Classic JDM cars are really cool, like old Honda Civics and uh, you know fair lady Zeds and like um, Supras. They're really cool. <laughs> Yeah, there's a little bit too much going on with that car. Um, I think sometimes when you're customizing a car, less is more. So if that car didn't have that livery on, if it was just the blue car and if the wheels were black, if it had the black bonnet, the blue car with the spoiler and black wheels, I think it would be a very nice uh, looking car. I like the wide body on it, that's really cool. But I think the livery just spoils it a little bit. And the coloured wheels. I, 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 yeah. You're going to hear a lot of that. Um, if you, if you, if you come to this channel to uh, hear my opinions on stuff, then, um, okay. yeah, you're going to hear a lot of uh, negativity surrounding jdm cars i'm i'm gonna just put that out there if that offends you then i'm sorry but yeah i'm just not a huge jdm guy who's this this was uh jess i can't remember what her, her name was jess something she was the one in the bmw now she's got an audi i mean fair enough oh we're now driving the Audi. We got uh, Jimmy okay. to the doctor. I know, I okay. Hold on. We're, not make it. <laughs> We're just gonna handbrake it some more. Guy, Apparently, this is the hospital. This doesn't look anything like a hospital. It looks like we were at the hospital, 
and we've now driven to the hideout. Now we're going from what apparently is the hospital, now we're going to the hideout, but okay. Um, now we've got to go back to the other side. It's a bit of a crap roadblock, I'm not going to lie, if it's directing you around the roadblock. Um, it's not the best roadblock in the world. Whoa! Well, that is a good takedown right there. Um, we've sent him flying as well. Let's get this Audi moving. Come on, slow Audi. Go, go, go. I think this is an... Well, I think is it's an S8. I think. I can't see what the badge on the back says. Airfield 73. This seems like the kind of hideout place, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a hideout place. Rav, he was the one with the awesome Mustang in the last episode. Sorry, I'll stop talking. What about the house? They control every dirty deal in town. Oh, that's where you come in. They'll have a bulletproof setup. Talk to your underworld contacts, figure out what it is. Then we take it out. So, win the race, watch the house burn while we count our piles of cash. Simple. Fame, fortune. Maria Navarro getting what she deserves. You idiots are gonna get yourselves killed without me. Guess I'm in. Yes! Rav? You know we can't pull this off without our master engineer. <laughs> Uh, so we didn't really get much of an introduction to Rav. He seems to be the mechanic in this crew. So Tyler's kind of like the leader, Rav's the mechanic, uh, Sean McAllister there in the yellow top, he's kind of the muscle I guess, and then Jess there, she seems to be like the techie, the kind of... Um, the brains behind the operation. Good old 87 Ooh, GNS. okay, here we go. This right. Still pull a six second, zero to six uh, we get years. to pick our car, do we? Okay, right, 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 right. Let's go through it. So, we got a Buick Grand National, Buick Regal. Um, nice car, I like that. Classic muscle. Uh, we've got a Mark 1 Golf, is that? GTI? Pretty nice, bit of uh, EDM right there, and um, we've got Honda S2000, very fast and furious -y, more JDM. So we've got JDM, we've got EDM, or we've got American Muscle, well, I think you know what I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for the Buick, because I like that car a lot, um, looks really nice. Oh yes, I don't like the wheels, but you know, hopefully we can change all that up. I do like this dune buggy though, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we're gonna have to change up that Buick a little bit. I don't like the wide body, I don't like the exhaust. The spoilers are okay, but it's a little bit over the top, and I don't like the wheels. But I like the car, so you know, I picked the car because I like it. Hopefully the other things we can change. Oh. Yeah, let's go for the far camera. We've got NOS on this thing as well. It appears that everything in this game has NOS. That dune buggy there probably has NOS as well. We got a lot of money from that. We got $14,000. And I think we're going to level up as well. Uh, speed cars cards improve car performance earn speed cards by winning events okay draw a speed card we'll go right oh okay so we got some nos we got extra nos ooh okay off-road build use this build for off-road events oh here we go okay these cars and trucks specialize in off-road controls and jumps so for, what have we got we've got a land rover defender like a pickup 
Or we've got an STI Subaru. I have been thinking about getting an STI in real life. Um, like this, a hatchback Subaru. So I'm going to go with that. It is a little bit more, I think it's slightly more expensive than the Jeep, but uh, than the uh, Land Rover, sorry. But yeah, I think it looks nicer. Yes, very nice car. I have been thinking about getting one of these in real life, actually. Um, there I go saying I'm not a JDM, JDM fan and I want a Subaru, but... Yes, some, you know, I'm not against JDM cars, I just prefer muscle. We still got a payout, 14 grand, and we didn't even win. And we got some more race credits, I guess you'd call them. I'm going to go for the middle one this time. Acceleration, we got some stuff in the head gasket. Managing speed cars. There are many ways to use your speed cards. Equip, sell, trade in, and send to garage. Send this card to RAV in the garage. Okay. What if I want to equip it, though? Oh, it doesn't give you the option to. I guess we're still in the tutorial phase at the moment. It's still showing us what the game has to offer before it lets us loose. Uh, so... We're still sort of building up our garage. We've got a street car now. I think we have a drift car. We've got an off-road car now. I don't know what other... What other sort of race types are there? I can't think of the words now. Um, yeah, I don't want these episodes to go on too long, but I do want to check some stuff out. Um, so let's have a look. What have we got here? Um, okay, so yeah, right. Okay, we've got the, the Buick, which is our like street car, I guess. And then we've got the Subaru, which is like our rally off-roady car. Um, so we can select car, exit garage, sell car, or swap with warehouse. Okay, let's have a look what we can do with this thing. So we've got visual customization, stance tuning, paint and wrap, vanity items, performance, swap with warehouse, and exit the garage. Okay, let's have a look what we can do. What do you got, Rav? I know of oh. two leagues worth your time out here in the desert. This one is a racing league. So we've got some more leagues. So this is some more racing. We have now at least unlocked the garage, which is good. So I think in the next episode, we might start by customizing the car. Um, having a little look through the customization, see what that has to offer. Um, okay, Mac. To celebrate the release of Multicolored Underglow, we've awarded you with a new vanity item. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I think in the next episode we'll have a look at car customization, see if we can improve the, the Buick here, make it look a little bit nicer, because I'm not a huge fan of the, the look we have going on right now. Um, so we'll see if we can try and improve that and obviously we'll go and try out some of these new races like the league and the graveyard shift over there um, but that is going to do it for today's episode i hope you have all enjoyed taking another look at need for speed payback if you have then i'd appreciate you dropping a like on the video and subscribe if you are new um, we're going to be doing a couple more episodes here on Need for Speed Payback so if you want to see some more of those then definitely stick around I'd really appreciate it and uh, let me know in the comment section if you are enjoying this series and if you have any game suggestions that you want to see me play then definitely drop them down there in the comments and I'll be sure to read them um, but yeah I'm not into first person shooters or anything like that so yeah I wouldn't suggest anything like that that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.